Good day, this is Teacher Judy. This time we are going to distinguish different types of forms and fill them out accurately. But first, let us read some words that start with letter F. Kindly read with me. Fill. Form. Found. Find, fold, fund, fine, and fell. Thank you for reading with me. Now, let me ask you these questions. Have you experienced filling out forms? When did you fill out forms? And what forms have you filled out? Well, just keep the answers for yourselves because today we're going to discuss the different types of forms and fill them out accurately. This is our first form. What kind of form is this? Well, this is an admission form. We usually fill this out during the enrollment. What information is asked for in this form? We have here some personal information like your name, your date of birth, address, the school you last attended, and the names of your parents. So let us fill out this form together. Make sure to avoid erasures in making or filling out the form. Let's fill out the name first. So we have your surname or your family name. The family name of your father. Then we have your first name or your given name. And of course your middle name. Next, let us fill out the date of birth, starting with the year, followed by the month, and the day. And of course, the place where you were born or the place of birth. Also, you have to fill out your present address or the place where you are living. Now, let's fill up the schools. And of course your father's name and your mother's name you might want to ask what is occupation occupation is the work of your father or your mother and please keep the form neat and clean now you know what's inside an admission form now let's proceed with other types of forms let us distinguish some common forms. First, we have this deposit savings form. I know some of you save money and some of you might have bank accounts. Some important details in this form are the date, your name, and your account number. And of course, don't forget the amount of money you want to deposit. And now that you have some money on the bank and you want to get the money, you will have to fill out a withdrawal slip. A deposit form and a withdrawal slip might have the same information, but they differ in their purpose. To deposit is to put some money on your account while to withdraw is to get the money from the bank. I have here another form and this is a form for a national exam. In this form, you're going to 
put the information on capital letters and you have to shade each letter on its corresponding circles. In this form, it is important that you know how to shade correctly. This time, it's your turn to fill out forms and I have here a suggested rubrics on how to check your papers. If you have questions, kindly ask your teacher and if you are done, kindly review your answers. I will give you enough time to answer and your time starts now. Your time is up and you have to submit your papers to your teacher. 
Congratulations for filling out the forms and I hope you learned a lot for today's lesson. Good day and God bless.